For today's video, we are going to talk about what is markup and we are going to explain everything in details. To understand what is markup and to determine how to solve the markup, let us familiarize ourselves with the different terms. When we say markup, it is the amount of money added to cost to cover the operating expenses and provide a profit to the business. And when we say selling price, it is the price at which the item is actually sold. Always remember, the selling price must be reasonable, competitive, and suitable to its target market and will not make the business lose a money. And to determine the selling price, we are going to use the formula selling price equals markup plus cost. And when we say cost, that is the price that includes all the expenses in the production of the product. And lastly, when we say markup rate, it is a percentage of the cost to be added to determine the selling price of the product. And to determine the markup and markup rate based on cost, we are going to use the formula markup equals markup rate times cost. And for markup rate, we have markup divided by cost multiplied by 100. And to determine the markup and markup rate based on selling price, we are going to use markup equals markup rate times selling price and markup rate equals markup divided by selling price times 100. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to understand what is markup. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number one, how much is the selling price of a monoblock table with a cost of 530 pesos if the desired markup is 30%? To determine the selling price of a monoblock table, let us determine first our given. So let us have the cost that is 530 pesos and markup rate that is 30% or 0 0.30 in decimal and we are looking for the selling price so to determine the selling price let us use the formula markup equals markup rate multiplied by cost our markup rate that is 30 percent in decimal that is 0 0.30 multiplied by cost that is 530 pesos. 0 0.30 multiplied by 530, it will give us 159 pesos. So this will be our markup. And to determine the selling price, let us use the formula selling price equals markup plus cost. Our markup that is 159 pesos plus the cost that is 530 pesos 159 plus 530, it will give us 689 pesos. So this will be our selling price. And if you want to check your answer, if it is correct, let us use the formula markup rate equals markup over the cost multiplied by 100. Markup, that is 159 over the cost that is 530 times 100. 159 divided by 530, it will give us 0 0.30 times 100 and that is 30%. So as you can see, we come up with the same percentage that is 30%. On example number two, how much is the cost price of a backpack sold for 400 pesos if the markup rate is 35%? To determine the cost price of a backpack, let us identify first our given. So let us have the selling price that is 400 pesos. And then we have the markup rate which is 35% or 0 0.35 in decimal and we are looking for the cost to determine the value of the cost let us use the formula markup equals markup rate times cost markup rate that is 35 percent so we are going to have 0 0.35 times c 
Zero point thirty five times C that is zero point thirty five C. So this will be the value of the markup, and we are going to use this one to determine the value of the cost. So let us use the formula: selling price equals markup plus cost. Selling price that is four hundred. Markup that is zero point thirty five C plus C. And to simplify, let us have 400 equals 0 0.35C plus C, that is 1.35C. And to determine the value of the cost, let us divide both sides by 1.35. Let us cancel this one. So cost is equal to 400 over 1.35. If you are going to divide this one, we are going to have 296.29. 63 and if you are going to simplify we are going to have 296.30 so this will be the cost price of a backpack and to determine the value of the markup let us choose markup is equal to 0 0.35 times the cost so let us have 0 0.35 times the cost which is 296.2963 it will give us 103.70. So this will be the value of the markup. To check our answer if it is correct, if we are going to have the same percentage, let us use the formula markup rate equals markup over cost times 100. Markup that is 103.70 divide by cost that is 296.2963 times 100 if you are going to divide this one we are going to have 0 0.34998 times 100 so if you are going to multiply this one it will give us 34.998 and to simplify it will give us 35%. So as you can see, we have the same percentage that is 35%. On example number 3, the cost of a new pair of sunglasses is 4,500 pesos and the selling price is 8,000 pesos. What is the rate of markup based on cost? To determine the rate of markup based on cost, let us identify first our given. So let us have the cost that is 4,500 pesos and then we have the selling price that is 8,000 pesos and we are looking for markup rate. To determine the rate of markup based on cost, let us determine first the value of the markup. So let us use the formula selling price equals Markup plus cost. Selling price that is 8,000. And then we have the markup plus cost that is 4,500. So let us move 4,500 on the side of 8,000. It will give us markup equals 8,000 minus 4,500. 8,000 minus 4,500 that is 3,500. Pesos. So this will be the value of the markup. And to determine the markup rate, let us use the formula. Markup rate equals markup divided by cost times 100. Markup, that is 3,500 divided by 4,500 times 100. So let us cancel the zero. It will give us 35 over 45 times 100. 35 divided by 45, that is 0 0.77778 times 100. And if you are going to multiply, it will give us 77.778. And to simplify, let us have 77.78%. So this will be the rate of markup based on
cos and this will be our answer. And to determine if our answer is correct, if we are going to have the same markup, let us use the formula markup equals markup rate times cos. Markup rate that is 77.78%. If you are going to write this one in decimal, it will give us 0 0.77778 times cost that is 4,500. And if you are going to multiply, we are going to have 3,500. So we come up with the same markup. On example number four, what is the cost of an item that has selling price of 250 pesos and a markup rate of 60% based on selling price? To determine the cost of an item, let us identify first our given. So let us have the selling price that is 250 pesos and then we have a markup rate based on selling price that is 60% or 0 0.60 and we are looking for the cost. Since our problem is a markup rate based on selling price, let us use the formula markup equals markup rate multiplied by the selling price. So let us have markup rate that is 60% or 0 0.60 times the selling price that is 250 0 0.60 times 250, it will give us 150. So this will be the markup. And let us use this one to determine the cost of an item. So let us use the formula. Selling price equals markup plus cost. Selling price that is 250, markup that is 150 plus cost. And to simplify, let us move 150 to the side of 250. It will give us cost equals 250 minus 150 and that is 100. So this will be the cost of an item and this will be our answer. And to check our answer if it is correct, if we are going to have the same markup rate, let us use the formula markup rate equals markup divided by the selling price times 100 because our problem is a markup based on selling price. So let us have markup that is 150 divided by selling price that is 250 times 100. 150 divided by 250 that is 0 0.60 times 100 and that is 60%. So we come up with the same markup rate. On our last example, a new pair of shoes costs 5,500 pesos. The rate of markup based on selling price is 15%. What is the selling price and markup? To determine the selling price and markup, let us identify first our given. So let us have the cost that is 5,500 and then we have the markup rate based on selling price that is 15% or 0 0.15. And we are looking for the selling price and markup. So let us determine first the value of the markup using the formula markup equals markup rate times selling price. So we use this formula because our problem is a markup rate based on selling price. So let us have the markup rate that is 15% or 0 0.15 times the selling price that is SP. So markup that is 0 0.15 SP. So this will be the value of markup and we are going to use this one to find the value of the selling price. So let us have the formula selling price equals markup plus cost. So let us have selling price and then markup that is 0 0.15 SP plus cost 
that is 5,500. And to simplify, let us move 0 0.15 SP on the other side. It will give us SP minus 0 0.15 SP equals 5,500. SP minus 0 0.15 SP, that is 0 0.85 SP equals 5,000. 500. And to simplify, let us divide both sides by 0 0.85 to determine the value of the selling price. Let us cancel this one. Selling price equals 5,500 divided by 0 0.85 and that is 6,470.58824. And to simplify, this will be 6,470.59. So this will be the value of our selling price. And to determine the markup, let us use this formula. Let us have selling price equals markup plus cost. Selling price that is 6,470.59. 58824 plus or equals markup plus cost that is 5500. Let us move this one on the other side. It will give us markup equals 6470.58824 minus 5500. And to subtract, it will give us. 970.58824 and to simplify we are going to have 970.59 pesos so this will be the value of our markup another way in finding the markup you can simply multiply 0 0.15 times the selling price that is 6470.58824 you are going to have 970.59. And to check if our answer is correct, if we are going to have the same markup rate based on selling price, let us use the formula markup rate equals markup divided by the selling price times 100. Markup, that is 970.58824, Divide by the selling price that is 6470.58824 times 100. If you are going to divide this one, we are going to have 0 0.1500 times 100 or 15%. So we come up with the same percentage. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.